Being a superhero isn't just about saving the day and fighting for justice. Well, at its core it should be. But there's a lot of other components that go into being a full fledged superhero, like your costume. It takes time to figure that out. And I guess by extension, branding too, but regardless, a lot of heroes have nailed it in this department. Others, not so much. So today we're taking a look at the top 10 dumbest superhero costumes, with the part 2 of this list. Let's jump right in. And at number 10 is Color Kid. Don't get me wrong, Rambos are great, but Color Kid's suit looks more like he's wearing a jumper he purchased on sale at Walmart in the children's section. If you saw him running towards you with the intention to kick your butt, you probably wouldn't take him seriously at all. Apparently, the Legion of Superheroes didn't either, and they didn't give him a membership because his powers were useless. I mean, at least that's what they called them. And dude does look like the inside of a box of Crayolas, to be fair. Not even like the good ones, just like the tiny free packs you get at restaurants sometimes. And at number 9 is Cable. Pouches for days. Hey, you want to bring your wallet and keys with you when you're fighting crime? You just don't have any pockets? We'll just hang out with Cable. He's got you covered. He'll carry all your crap. He's got the space. Now, there's been times when Cable's costume has been drawn without all the excess, all the uh, the pouches and whatnot on his body, and he looks pretty great. Then you have times like these, where I guess mobility doesn't really matter all that much. I don't know about you guys, but I think our buddy Cable here might have a wee bit of a hoarding problem on his body. That is. And at number eight is Red Bee. Ooh, the striped leggings. The utility belt holding a bee. The silky sleeves. Yes, because that's what every practical superhero needs an appreciation for light fabrics. So let's get back on track for a hot second. The bee that lives inside the Red Bee's utility belt is named Michael. And I mean, like, if I was Michael and I was being held in some jackass's utility belt, I think I would immediately sting him. You know, like a normal bee probably would? Just a thought. And at number 7 is Extrano. Gay pirate or gay magician? I really can't tell anymore. So Extrano was the product of horrible stereotypes and the fallout from the AIDS pandemic. His name is literally the Spanish word for strange. Hmm. So logically speaking, what's stopping a supervillain from grabbing any of that extra flowing material or it's snatching on something when he's in a fight? And it just doesn't look practical in terms of, you know, being protected when fighting villains who have superpowers, who can kill you. And at number 6 is the almighty dollar. There's nothing tackier than a man who flashes his cash unnecessarily. So to convert a superhero suit into a giant dollar bill? Yeah, maybe compensating for something. Which was very much the case with Jay Pennington Pennypacker. So this dude, and yes that was his real name, is a certified accountant, a pretty mundane one at that, and just wanted to attend self esteem camp. So he does, but it was actually a front for a mad scientist to test out a new device that gave anyone superpowers. So our penny buddy over here got the ability to shoot pennies out of his wrists. He would literally throw throw money at his problems. Ugh. I felt really horrible saying that. <laughs> so lame. And at number 5 is Batman and Robin from 1997. This film gets a whole number to itself. So Bats, Robin and Batgirl all suit up in these get ups to keep them cozy while they're facing off against Mr. Freeze. And well, I think everyone and their mom obsessed over the fact that they included nipples in the costumes. I mean, hey, I'm all for the free the nipple movement, but there's something about bulletproof nipple additions that just seem kind of redundant. Well, it's had unnecessary, if you will. If you're going through the trouble of building a high tech superhero suit, wouldn't you want to pour all of your time and money and resources into giving it stuff, you know, for fighting crime, perhaps? Even the shiny cod pieces felt more useful than those nips. Goddamn. And at number four is Leather Boy. BDSM outfits are not superhero costumes. I'm sorry, guys, hate to break it to you. They won't protect you from. Please stop wearing leather now. And what's your ball gag supposed to do? I don't know, please tell me, I would love to be informed. Actually, maybe not, I take that back. And at number three is Dazzler. So let's jump into statistics land here for a sec. According to the American Academy of Pediatricians, in 1996, an estimated 76,000 children and teenagers younger than 21 years were injured due to inline skating. How about 2017? Well, no clue, because who the f rollerblades anymore? Point is, adding rollerblades to a costume is not only silly, but wildly impractical. And while Dazzler was a highly accomplished rollerblader, whatever that that actually means, it's still dumb as hell. Up next, number two is Razorback. Nothing strikes fear into your opponent, quite like dressing up like Pumbaa. Sure, you're jacked, buddy, but seriously, that hogshead ain't doing much to help your peripherals. I mean, yeah, it's cool that Razorback can actually set an electrical charge through it to mess his opponents up, but still, you are wearing a dead pig on your face. Also, it looks kinda heavy. And finally, in at number one is Penance. So, Penance is Robbie Baldwin, the hero previously known as Speedball. So, we go from this to this. 
Someone's letting out a cry for help, aren't they? So Baldwin had joined the New Warriors, and during Civil War, the group tried to apprehend a group of supervillains, one of which created a massive explosion that killed 621 civilians, which also includes 60 kids, and all of the New Warriors except for Robbie. After sinned in prison, he's destroyed by guilt and makes a new suit and persona, called Penance. Aptly named. And it's a suit that has 612 internal spikes for each person who died. Oh, and also his mask has no eye holes because, you know, sight doesn't matter. I'll leave you with that. There we go, friends. Did your favorite dumb costume make the list? If not, give us a shout in those comments below and let us know who gives you the giggles. And if you dug this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons so you never miss another nerdy list. I've been Kelly Pally for Top 10 Nerd, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.